Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 24th of May. Now, it's actually the 23rd of May, the afternoon, but because I'm going shopping with my daughter, I thought, well, I'll pop on and give you one this afternoon, and I might even try and upload it tonight. So, you won't miss me tomorrow because I'm making an extra video today. So that's why I've got the same outfit on, guys. Um, <laughs> all right, now I've bought a couple of cards along as well. I've bought my Gaia Oracle pack, which is this one. Um, so I'll draw a few cards at the end, so stick around for that. And I've also got my Healing Angel cards. Now, just before I get started, I had my doggy whisperer come today and she worked on my leg and did a healing on my leg, my knee. Um, we've all been talking about our little ailments, guys to do with the ascension process and how we've got a little bit of stuck energy in our bodies about how to move forward and she actually um focused on a flare-up she talked about this as an energy flare-up um and she actually said for me to go back 30 years it's a 30 year like cycle so i'm just going to get you guys to go back say 30 years i was 27 at the time and i do actually remember it quite clearly something came to me when she actually said it because i hadn't thought of it because we think we've dealt with things but then sometimes we kind of haven't um and i had an incident where i bought my first home it was on the gold coast up in queensland here in australia and I'd had it for a while and then suddenly my tenants wouldn't pay the rent. Um, I had really bad tenants and it got to the point that they I could not get them out and I had to go through court to actually kick them out. This was years ago, so long ago. And then I ended up having to sell the house and everything. It all sort of went south and pretty much it was just a, a, a challenging time in my life because, you, you know, the bank still wants their money, but then you're getting behind. It took months for me to get them out. Um, and so everything like fell behind. So I had to actually just sell it in the end um, and get rid of it. And that's very frustrating because that's a big financial sort of, you know, you think you're investing in your future and then you're getting forced to sell it by tenants who wouldn't pay. Um, and this is what happened to me. So with all these, um, we sort of figured out, this is just my journey, your journey could be different. So you go back 30 years and this was what my flare up, and I actually think it is because I, we keep getting these, um, what do you call them, interest rate letters in the mail. It's continuous. Like I've had, we've had like 11, is it 11? I think it's 11 we're up to. I don't know. I'm losing count. Guys, I bet you guys are the same. So I continuously, this reminds me um, of houses and like, you know, we own one house. I've actually got two houses, fortunately. Um, you know, and we, we tend to hang on to these things for the kids' future. But like most of us out there at our ages, we've sort of, we're fortunate that we could buy homes when we were younger and, and pay them off and, and move forward with our lives. Like I'm sure most of you are in that situation. But we don't still want these letters and interest rates going up. And it's not just the interest rates, it's everything. It's the cost of living, isn't it, guys? So that's very, very overwhelming for everybody. Um, when you've got money in the bank, you've got money tied up in businesses, we've all got commitments. This is all of us. So that's what we ended up um, concluding that it's probably some sort of trapped energy from my past, which I actually think it could be. You know, as much as you move through these things, sometimes it's just that old style energy that kind of gets triggered. So think back 30 years, guys, and see if there's anything flaring up or that comes to mind when think back to 30 years ago and see if anything's triggered because she thinks there's this cycle of 30 years. But in my case, it actually did make sense because it was a very difficult time for me when I had to kick tenants out and, you know, selling a house that you bought as an investment property, that's that's pretty hard. So that, that was mine. Um, you know, if you want to share your 30 years ago perhaps trigger that might be coming up it could be finances it could be anything it might even not be um relatable for you but that was what mine was so it's these flaring up energies um to do with ascension which we've all been talking about so basically that's what i got from it today that's my journey anyway um i hope you're all going well uh, I guess we've got to keep pushing through. Um, YouTube, I'm just going to focus on the positive now and I'm going to know that YouTube's helping me to grow my channel and we're going to help. They're going to support us in getting these messages out. I'm going to try a new tactic, guys. <laughs> and I'm going to be more positive about YouTube because we know everyone's waking up. We know people are starting to see the truth. So 
I guess we've got to just keep sharing it and putting that energy out there and that vibration and frequency and eventually everything will start to grow. All right, enough of that. Let's get started. Here's the doggos. They've been eating some dry biscuits I just threw out on the yard. They had to track them all down. Sprocket's come for a little guest appearance. You know that he does. All right, let's see what we get. Cheers, everyone. I had to get my afternoon coffee. It's absolutely magic out here today. Beautiful autumn weather. Still cool, but I'm loving it. Love the sunshine. I know you guys are loving when you get a sunny day. It seems so rare now, doesn't it? All right, let's see what we get. God, I'm getting this visual and I'm getting it for us. And it's saying, oh, it's Brocky. It's time to take everything up a notch. We've got to take things up a notch. It's showing me a lawnmower. And you know when you get a lawnmower, you can cut the grass at different levels. You can have it really short or you can have it cut high so it doesn't dry out. So we've got to kind of take the, the mower up a notch now. It's saying we've got to cut the grass higher. Um, what is this saying? Hang on a minute. We've got to take this up a notch, meaning oh, this is about protection, protecting ourselves. Um, I guess it's about us going to a higher level too. This is what they're giving me about the... Oh, Sprocket's got a star in the show. You know that he does, guys. He tries to get a little look in, doesn't he? Got to be at my feet, of course. Um, so it's that taking up... Because usually when you mow your grass longer, you don't want it to burn off with the frost or you don't want it drying out or you don't want it to look too short. Um, that's what I'm getting about the mower thing. So we've got to protect ourselves now and mow the grass a little higher, a little bit higher, meaning protect ourselves. That's a, oh, he's shaking. His pocket's shaking. It's all right. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh, he's a ding dong, isn't he? Um, Sophie's got the striped pajamas on today. Very cute in that outfit, isn't she? You'll probably see her in a minute. No dear. Um, all right. Let's keep going. So we've got to protect ourselves. We don't want to be exposed. Well, not exposed, but exposed to the elements is kind of what... Ah, he's got to lean on my bad leg. Sprocky, come over here. Come this side. Come here, this side. Oh, he's got to lean on my bad leg all the time. Come here. He's shaking. It's all right. He's always scared he's in trouble, Sprocket, because he had such a, a drug addict owner who was... He was an ice addict, actually, who was a dealer. Um, Sprocket's always scared. If he drops something or knocks something over, he gets really, really nervous that he's going to get yelled at. But we don't yell at him because he's totally spoiled, as you know. Come here. I always say that to the kids. Oh, the dogs do nothing wrong. <laughs> but this is what I'm getting. Okay, getting back to the mower. We've got to lift the blades up now and protect ourselves. Um, because, and I think they also say, doesn't that make your grass stronger? If you um, mow it a bit higher, it helps it to thicken up. I don't know. But I am getting that. We've got to... Bring the blades up, move the the level, um, which is raise our souls up. Oh, of course, I've got to get the Josh Groban song. The God said, raise us up so we can stand on mountains. God, we haven't had that for a while. Maybe we're just due to hear it. All right, let's keep going. And they're going, fundamentally, this is what the guides are saying, there's more and more poor people. There are becoming more and more poor people and destitute people. We knew this would happen. We know that people are getting downtrodden. We know they're getting worn out from all this that's happening. But there are more and more um, people that are feeling, feeling destitute now. Probably not you guys watching my channel. We were kind of prepared for all this coming, but there's a lot of people who have been caught off guard um, by their government trickery. Gosh, I was just in the service station a minute ago, guys, and I got fuel for my trip to Canberra tomorrow. And the guy in there had a mask on, and he was, um, he, I said, oh, it's such a beautiful day, and the weather's so nice. And we we're talking about winter and how there's a bit of snow up there. And then he goes, yeah, as long as COVID doesn't come and destroy it all. And he was, like, really trapped in the COVID bubble. Like, he was still really fearful with a mask on. And, and I just sort of looked at him, and I said, oh, Oh, that's all long behind us. And I just, I didn't even know what to say, guys. I just said to him, that's long behind us. We don't want any of that crap anymore. And then I left. But, mind you, when I do go to the petrol bowser, I do use the hand sanitizer because so many people are germy anyway. 
<laughs> so I still do use sanitizer. I admit to that sometimes. The petrol bowser. How many hands touch that petrol bowser? Ew. So I do do that. <laughs> I must admit I do carry it in the car. But this guy was just over the top. He was still really caught in the jab wheel. It's just so weird when you interact with people like that, don't you? But it's almost like we have this acceptance of it, guys, don't we? We just go, oh, well, leave them to it. <laughs> we just walk off. All right, let's keep going. God, I'm getting this image for us as well, and it's time to bring in the reins. They're showing us like on a galloping horse, and we've got to bring in the reins really tight. If any of you have done horse riding, you to get control of your horse, you have to kind of bring your reins in pretty tight and really just pull hard to get your horse to kind of slow down and stop. Um, you've got to let that horse know that you're in control. So this is a time for us to be in control of our own destination, our own lives, where we're heading, where we're going, what we're wanting, what we're doing, all these things. We have to really take the reins now and it's saying we have to pull them in tight. Now when I'm thinking of pulling in tight, I guess that's really just gaining control, isn't it? It's not it's not saying like come to a screeching halt and stop everything. It's more of that getting control, using your energy to control um, where you're headed. If you think of riding on a horse and galloping, cantering, whatever you're doing, you're t you want to take control of where you're heading and where your horse is going. For example, um, I'm just getting that. We have to take the reins now of our own lives. All right, hang on a minute. God, they're giving me this image of us just sitting out looking at the stars at night again. We get that quite a lot, don't we, here? I'm getting this. Um, it's really important that we just do a lot of stargazing. Stargazing is another way of escaping all the nonsense and garbage. Um, you know, it's just looking up into the beauty of the night sky. Obviously, there's some sort of... Oh, here comes Sophie in her striped <laughs> pyjamas. <laughs> Oh, stop it. I laugh every time I see her in them because it's so funny. She's the one with the grass allergy. <laughs> so she has to wear them if you're new here. Oh, you got to show your bum. What is with my dogs in the camera in the bum? At least she's not doing a poop today. Oh, she's got a stick to play with. No, we're not having sticks. Oh, in the middle of the video. Come here, you goof. Oh, they're both goofs, aren't they? Not stick throwing time. So we've got to do a bit of stargazing. Oh, high maintenance. Now he's jealous because I'm talking to Sophie. Oh, my goodness. Um, so it's important that we do a bit of stargazing. It's very healthy to, you know, not only do we enjoy the sunlight and the, the warmth and the beauty of all the greenery and terrabella and all that that we talk about, but it's really important to not forget about the night sky because apparently the night sky, according to the guides, emits a beautiful, um, oh, just a beautiful energy that helps us to relax um, and it helps us to escape, oh, sprocket, helps us to escape the everyday worry. So maybe get out there, guys. I'll light up my, I want to light up my burner and burn some nice sticks and toast some yummy marshmallows now that it's winter here. You probably can't light fires actually where you guys are. Oh, I forgot about that, guys. Sorry. Um, especially in Canada and probably California and all these places have very bad bushfires usually. Um, maybe don't light your fires. That might be more of the people who are in winter at the moment. <laughs> maybe New Zealand and Australia. <laughs> oh, my God. But you can still do your stargazing, guys, at night. It's very healthy. It's a good escape into... They class that as a good escape into nature as well. And sometimes you can be lucky and you can see a falling star too and make a wish. That often happens, doesn't it? Where I live in the country, you can see the stars really clearly. And I know a lot of you guys do live in the country too. We don't all live in the country, but if you have that opportunity, you certainly can see zillions of stars <laughs> at night. It's really beautiful and magical, isn't it? So I am getting that. And of course, I've got to get the Coldplay song, Sky Full of Stars, which is a song I absolutely love. I love Coldplay. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I love their music. I just love their music. All right, let me see if there's something else today. I am getting Nam. I told you that I'm, I'm using the nickname Nam at the moment for the Indian um, Prime Minister. I don't know what his full name is, but I'm using the word Nam like Nam bread. 
because I don't know what else to call him unless you guys have got something else you want to call him. He's bringing a good energy vibe to Australia. Because um, what it's doing, it's bringing the Indians together. And Indians, I keep saying, they've got this very big spiritual um, identity is probably the word I'm thinking of. So I feel like the vibration's not bad in Australia at the moment. There's a, there's a big... Um, the Indians are having this big influence on the energy in Australia at the moment. Um, hmm, interesting. Hang on. Oh, and it said that that's actually helping with the cultural divide. Um, because we know they're bringing in the voice, the Indigenous voice, so they're wanting to. I, I don't know if it's going to get voted in or not. Elbow's pushing it to get voted in. But um, the fact that that Indian um, Nam is here, the Prime Minister, he's helping bring um, people together. He's bringing, you know, you got to think about it. There would be a lot of, for example, here in Australia, there would be a lot of Indians married to um, Australian men and women and vice versa. So it's actually bringing a good energy of... Um, connection. So it's a quite a positive thing really around the energy influence in Australia. All right, let's keep going and see if there's one more thing. Oh. Of course, we've got to get climate change yet again. Well, climate change, climate change, we're all over it. Within, within a month, we're all going to be up to here with climate change i think we already are up to there aren't we guys but we're going to be up to here we've had enough we just want to like get this climate change and like beat it to a pulp and get rid of it it's <laughs> the image that i'm getting we're going to be so sick of it we're going to get ads we're going to get bombarded um oh it's just going to be pushed and pushed and pushed i told you now they're all coming back to their countries after their big world vip meetings um that this is going to be just shoved in our faces now climate change what are you going to do about it they're showing me that silly uncle sam thing that american uncle sam with the hat on and he's like you what was that was that you joined the army or something remember that poster and it had was it uncle sam on it and it was like you join the army or you well this is the image i'm getting we're all going to get this you need to make a difference you need to start um stepping up and saving your country and fellow man and this is all about climate change we're gonna be so sick of it oh i'm already sick of it i'm already sick of the fake climate protesters that keep keeping the spotlight on everything we know that's been happening um so that's what i'm getting we're already over it but in a month's time we're going to be completely over it i think i think we know that would be correct hang on i'll see if there's one more thing to close with then we'll do some cards I'm getting England and I'm getting, oh, this would be England, London, UK. I'm getting this churning in the stomach, this sicky feeling. As reality starts to kick in in the next few weeks, I'm getting this nausea, sicky feeling. People are going to start to feel a bit sick with where their reality is going because I think, and it's not you guys wake, that are already awake on my channel, it's the people waking up. People taking off the bubble denial suits, they are aware of what is going on now this is in england because the coronation's long gone we know all well, that's over now it's on with the show now and we know sushi's on with it so they're going to start to feel nauseous sick um mortified overwhelmed um it, it's going to feel like things are out of control in england uk and people will step up and they will fight back i still see that coming so fingers guys that people start to do something about it and I don't think it's going to be you guys because we're off doing our own thing, enjoying life, aren't we, guys? Not taking on the nonsense and garbage that's being fed to us on mainstream media and by our global leaders that are lying. Um, all right, I'm going to pull off a couple of guy Oracle cards. We might pull three of these. These are a big set. You know, I have trouble juggling big sets. Right, I'll get there in the end. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Something will jump out. These are quite cute cards. They're like a little heart, which if you think about it, relates to love, doesn't it? like hearts on fire something like that let's see what we get we'll get some messages maybe it's about how you know moving forward let's let's put some energy on these cards they spoke about moving forward and ways we go about relieving a bit of pain in our bodies um things we can do to improve um to navigate the next few months um oh there you go one popped out ocean of eternal love healing creativity 
and fertility. There you go. I better put the glasses on because I'm not so good at reading without them, am I, guys? Sorry. <laughs> That's better. Can you see that? Oh, look, my hand's shaking. It's a beautiful card. That's almost like the moon, isn't it? Ocean of eternal love. Healing, creativity, and fertility. When I think of fertility there, that's definitely about emerging, isn't it? Like being reborn, being newborn, healing, creativity, all the things that will help us to move forward. All right, let's see what else we get. I'm going to pick three because well, one flipped right over then. I'm not even going to do anything with that. Eternal dance, movement, will of life. Hey, girl. Path of least resistance. Oh, that sounds familiar. No resistance, guys. We've got to go. We've got to keep dancing, keep moving. Um, with the wheel of life, not the jab wheel, <laughs> different wheel, and um, go with the path of least resistance. And and that's definitely true for us, isn't it? You think about it there, she's like, even though she's in, in um, surrounded by vine and everything, it's still got greenery on it, it's still alive, so there's a lot of life. She's not being strangled, um, but you've got to keep flowing and you want to take that path of least resistance which is the path that we took in the beginning because it was by taking the alternate route to most people that we found relief in our bodies and life became easier and better didn't it guys all right we'll see if this oh there you go one flipped oh the message positive news positive outcome oh let's see look at that it's the white dove again we always get the white dove the symbol of peace that's what it is. And look, it's between two beautiful trees. What a beautiful card. Positive outcome. Positive news and positive outcome. So we know there's a lot of whistleblowers. We know there's a lot of truths coming out. So we just have to keep, I guess you see that peace, um, peace dove as well as a symbol of pretty much hope as well. That's how I see the dove. Um, we talk about him a lot on this channel. All right, I'm going to pull... Um, Let's pull three angel oracle cards. I've got a little bit of time. These are beautiful little cards. They're like a little box set. Sprocket, where are you going? Oh, he's going for a walk. So we'll pull three of these as well, just to give us a little bit of guidance. Showing off. Got to show off. You know that they do. Just ignore them. I am. Because they want my attention. We know that that's what they want. It's just a car driving down the street. Like, really? Do they really need to be? You know, come here. Hey, righto, that's enough. Come here. Oh, cheeky ass. Good boy. Thank you, Sprocket. It's a very big guard dog. Come on, Sophie. Come here. Come quick. <gasps> what have I got? I've got to con them. Oh, we've got the first card. Uh, uh, come here. Healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love. Sophie, come here. Come. Now. Sometimes I've got to get a bit firm and be the alpha male. Um, I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love you for all eternity. So we're healing. We are healing. Thank you, Sophie. Interrupting the show as usual. Sorry, you know what my dogs are like, guys. I'll just leave that there for a minute so you can have a little read of it. Excuse my dry gardening fingers. I'll hide them. So we're, it's all about the healing. We're, see, this is part of the healing. If you think about all the ailments and aches and pains in our bodies, that's all part of healing because it's about letting go and allowing things to come to the surface in order for us to heal them, our bad backs or our, our energy gets trapped in our bodies, like that Louise L. Hay book said, you know. Our, our bodies are closely connected to our minds. What we think, like we become. So, you know, it's time to let these things go. So we are healing. Let's get, let's see. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, positive thinking. We just got this in the other set. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. Positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love. Now, that is very us, isn't it, guys? Look at that. We always do. We focus on love as an energy and a frequency here. We just do. Sorry, my hands aren't very still when the dogs are leaning on me all the time. Positive thinking, we got that as well in the other set. But that's what I'm trying to do with YouTube now. I'm trying to not focus on them, you know, taking my channel and comments away and 
minusing my subscribers. I'm trying to focus now that they're going to help us grow the channel and our community. And we're going to start sharing and getting these truths out there because it's time, isn't it, guys? All right, let's get one outcome card. Okay. My doggos. They so. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they distract me so much, don't they? Sorry, guys. Oh, my, me and my doggos. You know, they're important to me. Yes, you're all your pets are. I hear about all your pets. We love our pets, don't we? All right, let's see what flips. It's got to be one. We've got to put our energy on these guys. Send some energy vibes through the phone. Come on. Okay, let's get it. Let's see what you sent through. Here it is. <gasps> Determination. Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. Did you all put your energy on that? I think you did. That's what we all want, isn't it? We want all these people to wake up, see the truth, and have a positive outcome. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? I love those little cards. Anyway, they're just a bit of fun, aren't they? Um, I'll see if there's something to close with today. Hang on, guys. Let me see. I'll have a last sip of... Take the specs off. Let's see if there's something to close with today. Oh, I'm getting the Doobie Brothers, of course. Keep on shining your light. Gonna make everything pretty, mama. Gonna make everything all right. And I ain't got no worries. Cause I ain't in no hurry at all. I think that's O Black Water, isn't it? Keep on shining, Mississippi Moon. Won't you keep? Well, we've got to keep shining our light. This is for us, guys. I'm getting that song. Um, Hang on, let's see what else. I've got a dog. Seriously, I have got a dog on each side. My hands are on my dog's. Look. Oh. <laughs> I made an ins. I got the whole entire yard. I do love them, though. All right, let's see what, if there's anything else. God, I'm getting this song from the 60s and it's that um, we've had it before and I'm getting I am the real thing oh my 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 we are who we are. We're true to ourselves. We believe in ourselves. Um, we stay in our true power and strength. And I'm getting that um, I am the real thing. That song's for us. And I'll see if there's one more thing to close with today. Oh, Sprocket thinks he's the real thing. He is the real thing, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> Sprocky. Hang on. Let's see if there's one more thing to close with. Oh. Here we go. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think who sings it. Lifting me higher and higher. Your love keeps lifting me higher than I've ever been lifted before. Keep it up. Quench my desire. I'll be at your side forevermore. Is that, is it Jimmy Barnes or is it Cole Chisel? Oh, I don't know. I think it's an Aussie band. Your love keeps lifting me higher. Oh, sorry about the voice, guys. You know, it's really not great. I do know that. But if I don't sing the tune, you'll never get it. So I have to, unfortunately, for you guys, I do have to sing it just so you get the, the tune. I'll leave it to my Facebook page anyway. So your love is lifting me higher. And I think we could all say that here. It's that frequency and vibration. We share it with each other. We share it with other people. And it is lifting everything higher because the vibrations are now lifting higher and higher i think it's jimmy barnes and cold chisel isn't it i hope i'm right fingers i might be that'd be a miracle wouldn't it well i'm going to say goodbye from australia the sun's going down so i better go in and get dinner organized um i'll say goodbye from me goodbye from the doggos do you want to see my doggos hang on let's see we can see if we can get them there's sophie say goodbye Soph. Boy. <laughs> You're funny. And I'll say goodbye from Sprocket. Where's Sprock? There he is. Sorry, guys. I make you dizzy when I do this, don't I? There he is. Say goodbye, Sprock. Oh, there's all the towels and the washing on the line. That's exciting. Look, he's very serious. Oh, you're getting a side glance. 
He gets a bit jealous of you guys, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, sorry, there's my thumb. <laughs> so professional. All right, take care. Have a wonderful um, night, evening, day, whatever it is where you guys are. I hope it's sunny. I'm um, off to go shopping with my daughter tomorrow, so I'll try and load this tonight. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you in a day or two. Take care, everybody. Don't forget, like buttons, comment down below, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.